Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in today. It's Lonnie and we are doing a May Bible journal. And today's prompt is the word manna. And I had quite the scripture to write out today. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. Mine goes back to the Old Testament when the Israelites were traveling. Numbers 21 verses 4 through 9. So this is about the Israelites here. They traveled from Mount Hor un along the route to the Red Sea to go around Edom. But the people grew impatient on the way. They spoke against God and against Moses and said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There is no bread, there is no water, and we, dis we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people, and many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. There is so much in here. For instance, um, bronze speaks of judgment. I have something bronze here. Although it looks more like gold on the paper. But yeah, bronze speaks of judgment. Um, sorry, I'm out of order here. First of all, there's no bread. They were complaining. And Jesus is the bread. He told us that in many places. There was no water. Jesus gives us water. He said that if we come to him, we would never thirst again. And that he would give us living water. Then the snakes... They bit the people, and many Israelites died. Oh, I forgot this one. The, we detest this miserable food. Well, the food they had at the time was manna, and that actually represented Jesus. So when they said they detest the miserable food, you could say that they were saying that they hated Jesus. And I think that's why the judgment on them was so swift. The Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people and many Israelites died. Then they came to Moses and said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. And I find this interesting. They asked Moses to pray for them. They didn't pray for themselves. Because Moses was the mediator at the time. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake. Now, this is a picture of what Jesus would do um, in the future. He became sin that I might become the righteousness of God in Christ. And that is in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. That snake represented what Jesus was going to do. That snake represented um, sin judged. That's why it was bronze. And then, of course, we are to look at Jesus and live. Look to Jesus and live. That's what we do now. We put our trust in him. We look to him. And we live. So.
So there's things all around us that would threaten us, would harm us. But look to Jesus and we will live. So I remember the first time this kind of clicked with me and I was like, wow, they actually said they hated the manna. Now, they may not have realized what the manna was, that it represented Jesus, because Jesus came later on and said that um, he was the hidden, or he would give us of the hidden manna, but he also said um, that he was the bread that came out of heaven, or came from heaven. So I don't have a lot of room here to do much. I'll just fill in some spots. I was going to draw some snakes and I thought, oh, I don't like snakes. Why would I, why would I draw them? <laughs> so you can absolutely do what you like. I'll draw a bit of a vine here. It kind of looks or reminds me of a snake. Isn't it interesting that a lot of, well, here in Canada, at least the, the medical icon there, um, is a pole with a snake wrapped around it. Not sure what that is all about, but. Anyways, lots there to read over again and ponder. And, uh, may we not hate what is given to us by God. I think that's the big takeaway. I try to be, and the word does say to be thankful in everything. And I think that's because we have that guarantee that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So whatever happens, we should be thankful and I always try to thank him that he will work it out for good. So, anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.